Hey everybody, Mulkey Films here. Today, uh, talking about the uh, flying saucer blimp that I just uh, bought over eBay. It's uh, basically a uh, remote control airship that you fly indoors. And it's uh, got two fans and uh, basically the whole unit you attach to a bottom of a balloon and then you fly it around. Now, when I opened the box, I was very happy to see everything included. Uh, including uh, the remote control and the, uh, the motor unit with the fans. Uh, however, I was quite surprised to find a, a very large balloon inside. So, I'm just grab it here. This is a four and a half foot balloon uh, with the uh, motor unit attached to it. And uh, as you can see, it is uh, quite large. Uh, very <laughs> pleasantly surprised by that. So what I'm going to try to do here is uh, try to fly around and uh, hopefully keep it in frame. And for all you aspiring uh, balloonists and uh, balloon RC hobbyists, uh, my only tip I have and the only thing I've uh, discovered so far is that uh, achieving uh, buoyancy, neutral buoyancy, to where it just barely floats, um, doesn't sink, doesn't rise too much, uh, that is very difficult. There's a fine art to that. And uh, with, uh, I just taped a couple of coins inside the uh, ballast holder. Uh, but that wasn't quite enough. Uh, so I took uh, some, it's almost like clay that they include with it, kind of like putty. And I just tear off a little strip and put it in for those fine balances, uh, those fine changes. So anyways, what I'm going to do is step out of frame for a minute, grab the uh, controller, which looks like this. And uh, I'm going to try to fly this thing around. And uh, with any luck, I'll be able to keep it in frame. Well, it seems to be sinking on me. So here we go. Try to turn it around here so you can get a good look at it. So I find that when I put it in both of them full reverse, it sinks a little bit. So that helps with the uh, rising. And the controls, you control it just like a tank. You've got forward and reverse, both sides. Or almost like a, uh, if you ever had a Tyco Fast Tracks. I'll try to get this thing back in frame here. Sorry, it's kind of floating all over the place. Flying right over top now. About to bump into the thing. There it is. Here, I'm just going to grab it here. So here you can see the motor unit. I'm going to press forward on the uh, left one here. There it is. And then on the right one. There it is. You can see it when it comes to a stop. So I'm going to give it a little push and see if uh, I can fly it around. Maybe do a lap of the uh, old living room here. Here we go. It can be quite a challenge with the uh, long stringer I've got attached underneath. It kind of gets hung up on some things. Oh yeah, that's good control right there. Just kind of alternating. Here we go. That's both full forward. Off it goes. I'm going to throw it in reverse and try to bring it back. Really like that when you shut off the motors. It just glides just totally silent through the air. Look at that. How cool is that? Of course, you want to be careful not to fly it too close to any lights or any open flames um, because it is helium in there. And for the most part, I think I'm going to be flying this, this model inside only. Let's see if I can turn it around and bring it back over here.
Do a flyby here. Oh yeah. Oh that worked out way better than I had planned. There you go, you can even see the camera as it goes by. 